Hello everybody, and welcome back to Terminator Resistance. And we're going to go ahead and get back into this as I forgot to turn off my fan. Going to turn off my fan. Let that turn down as we're waiting for this loading screen to go ahead and go. So, we have been sent on our first mission, which is grabbing some of uh, our stuff from uh, the hideout. And then we're leaving. Patrick! Oh my look, gosh. Look, Ryan fixed it. Ryan fixed the bus. <laughs> That's great news. Did you help? No. I was there and helping Mark. He's doing much better now. I hear that you fixed the bus. Yeah, finally. What about you? You meet the resistance? Huh. Yeah, finally. Huh. I don't want to say bye to Patrick, even though I know a little about him. I don't have much stuff to talk about. Anyway, sorry. I heard about Mark. What happened? It was a close call, but he's on the mend now. And I have to thank you for that. So, thank you. Okay. So, what's new with you? I've been ordered to go to Pasadena to collect some intel. Is there anything you need from there? Right now, I don't need anything. But there's something you might be interested in. When we were running away the other day, Colin was supposed to bring something. Boxes of adrenaline, painkillers, and who knows what else. Since he didn't bring anything with him, I'd imagine everything's still there. Those stimulants might be useful to you. When used in small doses, they can improve focus and alertness. If I were you, I'd take a look. You never told me you had a husband. You never asked. Was he at that camp with you? He was. Sweet little man. I had to take care of him when they sent us to work, because he was so fragile. Back at the camp, I used to think that the machines kept Peter alive to get me to cooperate. So when there was an opportunity to run, we had to take it. And we did. We ran with this little child that I had started to love. I felt that she was mine. What was her name? Her name was Taylor. Peter said it sounded too manly. So I said, good, we'll finally have a man in the family. But as you know nowadays, no story has a happy ending. She died shortly after. We buried her and we stopped talking to each other. Eventually, the annihilation line caught up with us. We got separated. I ran away. He did too. At least, I hope he did. That's all. You didn't change your mind about joining the Resistance? No. I'm packed and ready to go. You're the one that kept saying that we're going when in fact we're not. Oh, you really pissed me off, I must say. Hans Dash. You really took a bite out of me. I don't remember getting this cut. Yeah, that one's on me. I Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Jacob. Lord tells Hi. me you're looking for volunteers that'll join the resistance. Are you one? Count me in. It only seems fair since I owe you my life. Okay, you? Looks like things are finally starting to go our way. Okay. Oh, we're doing a money thing here? No, oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. Hey, Patrick.
What wait, what's the main main objective? Hi. I see you got that bus running again. You didn't think I would, did you? Well, don't wrap me off just yet. I still got it. Anyhow, I got something for you. You do? Determination knife. With the termination knife, clip the pressure to read a quiet but I had to press. That's the life is a one time use weapon now. It's called a termination knife. It's supposed to shut down a Terminator with a single stab, so if you sneak in and you want to take them down silently, well, that's your go-to weapon. I guess you could say it terminates Terminators. Wow, that was almost as bad as Jam. Okay. What's on your mind? Well, you really got me thinking about old Tucker again. In times like these, I wouldn't mind having him around. He always know what to do. He was the only one who didn't lose his mind after Judgment Day. What did he do? He finally found me hiding below the stage. I was such a nervous wreck. So to try to calm me down, he just said, that band sucked anyway. Tucker said, we need to be calm right now. I listened to him. We all did, survivors from the concert. Did you contact the military? Well, we uh, eventually found a military base. We assumed that we were safe. But all we found was one crazy dude responsible for nuclear missiles. His whole job was to watch a button that he might never have to press. Imagine what he felt when Skynet sent those nukes without his knowledge. I wonder if he ever pushed that button after Judgment Day. <laughs> might as well, right? Finally, we found a couple houses, but the people there were as confused as we were. All the communication went to shit. Tucker managed to find some batteries, and uh, we sat in front of our boom box. We started to list cities to avoid. Cities that were hit by the nuclear bombs. How many cities were hit? I don't know exactly how many, but it took them a couple of minutes just to go through the A's. We looked at each other crying. We just wanted to go home and be with family, but Tucker said that for now, the safest place there is is right where we were. So we decided to stay and start a camp. Have you changed your mind about joining the resistance? No. No, I have not. I think I'm better off anywhere that bus takes me. I'm moving out tomorrow. Anyone who wants to join is more than welcome to, but I don't suppose you're interested. Where did you get that? A group of travelers came by earlier. We traded, talked for a while. Actually, they said something that got my attention. Something about meeting a guy out there who kept asking about Jacob Rivers. They said he didn't seem right. You don't think it's that thing that you told us about before, do you? Sorry, I probably should have said something right away. Moving out? I am. Do you need anything from Pasadena? No, I'm fine. No, yes. I'm fine and my eyes are big. There's nothing that I need from there. Hi, Patrick. You're going to Pasadena? Yep. Yeah. I, I am. I have a mission for you. A secret mission. Super important. Okay. Probably the most important of them all. What is okay. it? Okay. Could you bring me my chalk? Chalk? Yeah. It's at my house. The one with the beware sign on the side. Could you bring it to me? I mean, if you could. I did bring you that bullet one time. I'll see what I can do. Cool. Thank you, Patrick. You're awesome. You're, you're a cute little kid. Okay. 
Now I have to travel to Pasadena. Pasadena Skynet started to build their offensive insulation. <laughs> After yawning stopped. Oh boy, that was a long yawn. Okay. Well, we're heading to Pasadena. We're gonna see what happens, shall we? I actually am really enjoying this game. I know I keep on saying that, but it's kind of a shocker. Because I didn't think I'd enjoy this game as much as I do. I guess. This is my placeholder game until Doom Eternal comes out. <laughs> I guess that's basically it. At least temporarily. That is. River, Hi. are you receiving me? I am. Good. I marked vantage points on your map. Use them to take pictures of the Skynet installations. And although this is a recon mission, you have clearance to engage at will. Over and out. Let's head out to Con Stash. First, let's see what's in here. Save point. I think I may, um, I think I may have died. Just, just a tiny bit died. You know, just a little bit of the boom boom died. Dead. Boom boom dead. Dead died dead. I, I think I died. Yeah. Anyway, waiting for it to load. Waiting for it to, there we go. Hate those things. I guess I should use one of those noise based things, huh? But I don't want to. 
It's so pointless and stupid. There's only three of them. But anyway. I just gotta wait for it to load. Okay. What is going on? Select. Okay, well, the sound thing ain't working. Good. Okay, sweet. We got it. Don't know why I fought that. I'm not even heading there right now. Private, there's a strong possibility that you'll encounter a T-47 there. It's Skynet's newest Walker Type HK. If you can, take a photo of a functioning unit that we can... That's gotta be and rig this place with traps. <laughs> Better be careful. Huh. Okay. Well, well, oh. 
Southern hospitality. If you're reading this, then you must have gotten past my security system. Congrats. You must be as sharp as a sack of marbles. But as you've already noticed, I'm very protective of my stuff. So if you have any senses, you may, you'll you put back whatever you try to take and go on about your merry way. But if you're one of them terminators and you're reading this, then good for you. I didn't even know you all could do that. And since... We're actually communicating and all. I got a favor ask. Could you let me know why do y'all need teeth? That's something that's been on my mind for a while. I mean, y'all don't eat, don't chew, and I assume y'all don't brush teeth either. So why the chompers? That's actually a very good question. Dispensary? There has to be a hospital near. Okay, well, on that note, I'm going to save, and that is going to do it for this video. Sorry about my a little bit less enthusiastic commentary in this video. I'm just a little bit tired, which I'm going to go try to solve. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.